Hi, this is Greg from Greg Space Shed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plug your bass into a computer to practice or to record. So the interface looks like this. I plugged this into my laptop via Firewire, uh, but you can plug into any computer, obviously. And most of the newer models of interfaces um, now come with just USB. If you're looking at the Apogee Duet online, you'll probably notice that there's an Apogee Duet 2 now. Um, so that's, yeah, it's got a bit of black on it with silver. Um, but fundamentally, they do the same thing. So with the interface, you can plug different instruments. You can plug basses, guitars, keyboards, and also you can um, plug a couple of mics in. So then all you need to do is download the software, install that on your computer, and you're ready to go. In terms of sound, you can take headphones out of the socket at the front, and you can also take two outs um, into speakers. So I'll open up the software, and now the first thing you'll need to do in, with any of the interfaces is to adjust the gain of your instrument going in. So that just controls how much level of your instrument is going into the interface. So I normally take it up right into the red and then just drop it back a little bit and then you'll be getting the most level um, without distortion. With the Apogee software, you have a mixer page. Uh, and this is where you mix in your instruments, mics, uh, along with any programs that you're using. And that's the beauty of using an interface. You can use iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, all your usual programs. And you can have that all coming through the interface. So it's a great tool for practicing. Um, you have it all mixed in nicely. So obviously it's nicer to play through an amp and a cab and have that really cranked up loud, but sometimes that's not possible. And it's great that you can practice at any hour with headphones without disturbing anyone. That can be really handy sometimes. I've drawn up a list of a few interfaces that I'd recommend. Um, if you'd like that, then click the link in the description, um, put your email address in and I'll send that to you. Well, I hope you found the video useful. I've noticed recently on Reddit and Facebook there's been quite a lot of questions um, asking how you get sound out of your computer. Um, so if you found it useful, then like the video below and share it. And if you've got any questions, then write in the comments below and I'll check that quite regularly so I'll answer those. I'm bringing out new videos every week, so you can subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss those. See you on Friday for the next video. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed.